Okay, so what we have today here are Tokina lenses that we want to introduce to the market. Um, Tokina has been known in the photo market for quite a while to produce really affordable, well-priced lenses for the photo market. What the approach is now is to produce uh, cine-style lenses. So we're really looking at an affordable cine-style lens um, that they that they bring into market. The first product is the 11 to 16 lens that is a, a, a wide-angle zoom lens um, that they refitted from their photo lens uh, to be in the cinema style. So what, what does it mean cinema style is you have gear rings for aperture, uh, zoom and focus obviously. They rehoused a little bit. All of their zoom lenses for the cinema style will cover Super 35 one uh, chip cameras, um, that's where they're aiming for. The 11 to 16 is a tremendous uh, optical quality and a really the affordable cinema style lenses, competing with lenses on the market that are way more expensive um, in that field. Um, we're talking about roughly 1700 euros for that lens, um, which is nothing comparable on the market. This is a very good fit for, as we have here now, the Black uh, Magic Cinema camera, for example, or smaller cameras, but it can also work on bigger cameras. With the 11 millimeter, there's rarely, uh, rarely other, any other product that can uh, fit in that range. Um, they have EF mounts for Canon for the small lens. They have the Micro Four Thirds mount. Um, and they're also going to bring out the PL mount um, themselves that has a little bit of longer focus throw than this one. The next product that they introduce is the 16 to 28 millimeter lens. We're showing it here in the Blackmagic 4K cinema camera. Already bigger diameter and this will be the barrel size and the housing size for all the future coming lenses. So in the end we're going to talk about a, a, a set from the 11 to 16 that we just looked at, the 16 to 28, the 50 to 135, and in the future there will become an uh, intermediate zoom range as well. All of them will be like a T-stop 3 throughout the whole zoom range. So even the 50 to 135 is a T-stop 3.1 throughout the whole range. They have long, at least 120 degrees focusing throw. Not too much breathing, they're really good on the breathing side and the optical quality in terms of distortion or aberration is re-engineered. So not just took the SLR lenses and, and made them work on cameras, they re-engineered them to fit 4K, to have the resolution and to have no aberrations and no distortions on them. wonderful but today they're consumables you buy a camera three years later you throw it away because there's a new one better one but the one thing that may have a little bit longer lifetime lights on one hand yeah but the glass the glass you put in front of the camera you may be able to use on your next camera yeah and some of the high-class glass is hellishly expensive. There's a new wonderful wide-angle zoom, looks like very long, it's 30,000 euro. And that's not the only lens you need. Or you buy a set of prime lenses and you enter 100,000 euros easy and you don't have all of them. And along comes a manufacturer not really very well known, a little bit in photography, yes. And they produce a zoom lens that is very wide. Well, that is difficult, we know that. To have something with a very short focal length, you have to have distortion, yeah? And also, to build any optics that is not breathing, where you don't change the image size as you're focusing, that's difficult. So all of a sudden there's a zoom lens from 11 to 16 millimeter that covers the huge sensor. Yeah, even when you upgrade your red to, yeah, you can still live with it. And it's sharp into the corners. It has super high resolution. That's what everybody talks about. These days the big new game is to count pixels. 
Yeah, you're what a 4K man. Oh, I'm a 6K man. Yeah. How many pixels does Van Gogh have? What's that got to do with it? Images. Yeah. There's some wonderful images before they even started counting pixels. And that doesn't change. So the attention to the number of pixels is a little bit overdone. Because there are things in the software that what's happening with the pixels, because the number of pixels is not a guarantee for a good image. It's what happens in the subsequent steps and what happens in our brain and what our eyes want to see. Because that's still the ultimate judge. In the end, it all goes into the eye and that has not been digitized yet. It's a wonderful instrument. And, okay, but there's this lens that does it all like it is a $30,000 or euro lens. And it costs nothing. Yeah? It costs 1,600 euro. And performs like one of the stars that is not allowed. Yeah? And there's another zoom and a third one that got introduced at this show. Now there's only one focal length missing between 24 and 50. And hopefully they're going to do that also. But this is a valuable piece of glass and it's amazing. It's called Tokina. <laughs>